welcome friends let us continue to study ic engine on my youtube channel kindly like share and subscribe my youtube channel the topic included in today's lecture is terminology related to ic engine what is dead center with reference to the ic engine so dead center is the extreme position of piston where piston stops for fraction of second and then piston changes the direction of movement so let us say that is one engine and this one is a cylinder and this one is a piston now piston reciprocates inside the cylinder and during the reciprocating motion of a piston inside that cylinder it has two extreme position that is this one is the extreme position beyond which piston will not move up and this is the another extreme position below which the piston will not move and these two extreme positions are known as the dead center in ic engine in a vertical axis engine top most position of the piston is known as tdc that is a top dead center so when there is a vertical engine the top most position of piston is known as the top dead center and in the same that is a vertical engine bottom most position of piston is known as the bottom dead center that is bdc if it is a horizontal engine in that case inner most position or the position of piston towards the cylinder head is known as the inner dead center that is the idc and in a same horizontal axis engine the outermost position or the position of piston towards the crank or away from the cylinder head is known as the odc that is the outer dead center what is stroke or stroke length and it is denoted by capital l distance traveled by piston from one dead center to another dead center is called stroke or it is known as the stroke length so stroke is equals to distance traveled from tdc to bdc or bdc to tdc for vertical engine or you can say distance traveled by piston from odc to idc or idc to odc for vertical engine and that is known as a stroke or stroke length and it is denoted by the symbol capital l stroke length can be calculated using the equation 2 multiply by crank radius and the crank radius is denoted by the symbol rc so let us see this one is the vertical engine and this is the extreme or that is the top most position of piston and it is said as a top dead center now and this is the bottom most position of piston that is a bottom dead center and the distance between the top dead center and bottom dead center is known as the stroke or stroke length denoted by the symbol capital n now you look at the gap between the piston and the cylinder head when piston is at top dead center that is the extreme top position and that gap is known as the clearance length or the you can say clearance and it is denoted by the symbol lc so there is a gap between the piston and cylinder head when piston is at top dead center now why that gap is provided the gap is provided so that the valves that is inlet valve and exhaust valve can open easily and there is no direct collision between piston and cylinder head or piston and valve because piston is reciprocating at a at very high speed and what is the total length of cylinder now total length of the cylinder is equals to summation of stroke length and clearance length so lt is equals to l plus lc area of cylinder area of cylinder or area of piston that is equals to capital a that is equals to pi by 4 d square where capital d is inside diameter of cylinder 
or it is outside diameter of piston or it is also known as the cylinder bore volume of cylinder and compression ratio now swept volume or a stroke volume and it is denoted by the symbol vs and it can be calculated using the equation a multiply by l that is the area of cylinder multiply by stroke length clearance volume vc that is equals to area multiply by clearance length and the total volume of cylinder vt is equals to vs plus vc and the compression ratio r is equals to total volume of cylinder divided by clearance volume that is vt by vc kindly ask your queries in the comment box kindly like share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you